hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to use get underscore metadata method in odoo and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use fields underscore get method please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the wavelance channel under the home screen you can see odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial and right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this playlist because this is the playlist it will helps from a to z topic wise session available all right so let's back to our main topic and before that guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will give you the latest notification about upcoming sessions all right so what is the get underscore metadata method and why we need to use right we will see in this discussion before that you have to understood about a little bit about the developer mode right so let's say if i'm going to the cells let me active the developer mode guys if you don't know how to active the developer mode and what it is i already explained this session in the debug mode playlist all right so here let's say i want to check this record created by the xml or the csv file from the backend side or not or let's say who created this record right so for that we can directly go to here right in this debug icon and we will see here this view metadata once you click here you can see here like who created and the which user last modified this record and database id top of this you can see here two different keys xml id and no update now here xml id is let's say this record is created from the csv file or in the xml file in that case you will get here that id and that id is updatable while upgrading the module or not so by default it's a false but if you provide the true that means once the first time it's installed this rec module right so on that time after it will convert into true and next time any of the user try to upgrade the same module it won't be changed anything in this record so that means like let's say if i change here this user to this user right and once i will upgrade so it won't be roll back this deco addict to the previous one the gemini furniture all right so that is the main purpose here so all this information view metadata right all this information you will get using that particular method not only this one huh? let's say if i'm trying to upgrade or let's say edit directly from here now you can see this is the external id right cell dot view order form if you search this id in the xml file in the cells module right you will get this id so let's see here let me copy this one let me add here in a double quote and now you can see here so you can see here this is the cells module under this cells module under this view cells order view dot xml file and you can see here this is the id of this view right irui view here you can see all the xml code is available i'm not going into the deep what it is but you can see here i'm giving you some example you can see here and this one is the module and this is the modules id right so this cells you have to consider as a module this one and then after that id you have to find that id in the xml or in the csv file in our upcoming session i will show you how actually you are trying to create such records right using the xml file or using the csv file so yeah so this is the first thing okay now let's say this record is created under this iru view model okay so that's the reason you can see here this one right and now if i will see here this view metadata then in this case you can see here the xml the database id is 1611 then after this xml id right you can see cell and then after this id name and then after like you can see like who created the create date then after who changed at last that particular user you can see here and that specific date you will get like this data so same result 
also you will get from the using that method uh, let me go to again here in the student profile I actually created this student profile original Sunny Leone uh, let's say here right student in the XML file so let me minimize this one student the data and this file here you can see here I have created two different records one for the school and one for the student so this is the school original Sunny Leone school and this is the student original Sunny Leon student right so you can see here and now if I'm going to the school profile and you can see here this one okay now very interesting thing is if you see here in the debug mode view metadata you can see here student dot and that specific ID right and this ID you can match here this one so you will get idea okay so this is created from the module right now let me show you another which is directly created from the front end right so here you can see view metadata and here you can see xml id is not available well forgot about this no updated as of now you don't need to uh, think about this key and this value what it is and what is the purpose you don't need to focus about this part because this is a, again a one topic which is very interesting topic i will show you in our upcoming session okay so let's focus about this and rest of these keys so this key like michelle admin created in van this date and who lastly updated this record so this person and this date right so let's say if I'm trying to upgrade here something like this, right? And if I will check here view metadata, you can see today's current date, it's available, right? And you can see still it's not changed because this is the create date. So I hope you understood about this main information. And now let's see how you will get from the backend side I mean from the method right so here if I'm see uh, here this is the custom method if I click to this button it will automatically map that method and it's called this method and it will execute this code okay so let me again minimize this one and now I'm trying to provide you here some more information. Okay, so let's say self. So let's say print self dot get meta data. That's it. And guys, this get metadata we don't need to pass any parameter because it's a blank parameter we have to pass. So that's the reason we are not passing anything here. Right now, let me start the service guys if you don't know how to add, configure or do in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained everything once i click to this button now you can see here let's focus about this two line so this is the static data content and this is the current record set you can see like this right and now the current record set we just pro like i just want to know give me the metadata of this self so here it's give me in the list of dictionary format okay so in a dictionary format i can see here the id the create uid the create date the write date right the write uid then after the xml id no update and xml ids right i think you understood about these keys now let's talk about these keys so let so this is the no update key which i already mentioned from the pop-up right we don't need to discuss right now so let's discuss about this xml id and xml ids so here what happen is if you are using here the specific xml id right then it will always display here that specific id in a string format and same here also right so let's see here for 
stood in self dot env wb dot student search print stood right this is the stood stood name stood get meta data right like this so here it will display the record set here you can see the student name and here we are trying to get the day metadata of this record set once i click here now you can see here whoa we have a lot of data right so you can see this is the first uh, sorry not this one right so you can see dd1 this is web lens and the other web metadata and if you scroll down at the last right original sunny leone student we need to focus here now we don't need to focus about further all these students which we created directly on fly but here this one we created from the xml file so here you can see this one the xml id right the value is student dot wb dot student underscore sunny right now we didn't update here so that's the reason you can see here the false now xml id is, is you can see xml id and here it's having a the key and value pair the xml id and no update the thing is let's say if you are trying to update inherit this id in a multiple modules right so you will get here in a xml ids so this is the main purpose here to get the metadata not only about the xml ids but let's say the the basic key and value pairs right here and this xml ids and the xml id i hope you understood about this method and if you still have any doubt please comment below and see you in our next session